Dear students, welcome to our class on transfer of fluxes. We have uh, three fluxes. The first one is the momentum flux. What is momentum basic physics? Mass into velocity. Momentum flux, as far as aggregate metrology is concerned, we infer it to eddies uh, uh, or you can say gases. Okay, transfer of zero plane displacement to reference parameter to explain, we use momentum flux. The second one is the, so it is explained by Newton's law of viscosity. The second flux is the, the mass flux, that's what we call it as the diffusion. In other words, mass diffusion, mass diffusion, exactly mass diffusion is the, like visco viscosity by using uh, or by following uh, Newton's law. Here we follow fixed law, fixed law of diffusion. So we can explain the exchange of water vapor. Otherwise, you know, the water vapor getting into the atmosphere. That's what uh, is the fundamental, or you can say, of the three transfer processes. Uh, second one is the mass transfer. The third one is the heat flux or heat flow. Now, it is the force, four years law of uh, diffusion or four years law of conductivity we expect. However, in this class, I would like to impress upon you that the rate of transport or anything, the rate of transport is uh, driving force divided by resistance. Driving force divided by resistance. This is what uh, I would like to impress upon you. And the next one is that there are certain similarities among these three laws. What are those three similarities? These are uh, generic group of uh, processes. These are the generic group of processes by which a quantity, by which a quantity is transferred from regions of high concentration to regions of low concentration. Say for example, the first law of uh, uh, okay, Newton's first law, what it states momentum or uh, momentum diffusion. There, first in the, uh, the layer near the surface, the flow is slow. As the layers go up, the flow will be very, very high. Okay, the flow. Similarly, in the mass flux, the uh, fixed law states that what it says is from regions of high concentration to or areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration, the molecules move. Third one, as I said several times, sir, the four years law here also the electrons are molecules, okay, transfer from regions of high concentration to regions of low concentration or temperature are different. Now, as far as the similarities are concerned, the momentum transport deals with the transport of uh, momentum in fluids, fluid back, fluid dynamics we call it as, mass transport deals with the transport of various uh, particular chemical species, of course, the energy transport deals with the, the transport of different forms of uh, energy. Now, see, uh, once again, I would like to impress upon you that uh, as far as this uh, Newton's first law is concerned, the Newton's first law states that the shear stress uh, between fluid layers is proportional to the negative value of uh, the velocity gradient between the two layers. Now, as far as the fixed law is concerned, mass transport is uh, generally referred to as uh, diffusion. The spreading of uh, mass from highly concentrated areas to areas of low concentration. Now, conduction for SLR, the rate of heat transfer through a material is proportional to the negative gradient in the temperature perpendicular to the area. Okay? Uh, in other words, right angles and uh, through the heat flows. Now, here, as far as similar T's and Richard's number is concerned, the notable similarities in the commonly used approximate, they use commonly approximate differential equations for three. Two, molecular transfer equations of Newton's law for fluid, mass and uh, the molecular transfer of Newton's law for fluids, momentum at a row, Reynolds, low Reynolds numbers, okay? They are uh, almost uh, very good, they, they read very good, they are all linear, 
as far as the Reynolds number for the mass and heat fluxes at the high Reynolds number is concerned, they won't follow linear, they follow non-linear that is followed by Stokes law, that's what we discussed in the next class. Now finally, the Reynolds number is concerned, now I would like to end in this class only with the fact that there is a linear relation at the moment of flux, mass flux, heat flux as far as low Reynolds numbers are concerned at high Reynolds numbers only mass and heat fluxes work through Stokes law. Okay, this is what I will say. Thank you very much. We continue in the advances too.